Uh, I can show one for days about Dr. Dan, really good. Um, but Dr. Dan is the founder of Innovative Orthodontics, a board-certified orthodontist, a faculty member at the University of Pennsylvania, and a Harvard grad honor graduate who believes that smiles can change lives. Dr. Dan is a South Jersey native, and a loving husband and father to his wife, Emily, and daughter, Caroline. Dr. Dan is proud of long-standing ties in the area. His father taught English at Clearview Regional High School for 40 years, while his mother taught elementary school in West Effort for 25 years. Having come from two parents who dedicated their lives to kids, it's no surprise that philanthropy is a priority of Dr. Dan. I met Dr. Dan a few years ago when out of the blue he contacted Bianca's kids and asked if he could meet with me as he loved our work and he was interested in potentially partnering with us to give back to the community. I thought the young, handsome, doctor, <laughs> Harvard graduate wants to have lunch with me. <laughs> our highest level corporate sponsor. His sponsorship allows us to grant numerous wishes each year. Dr. Dan has also gifted several of our needy children with tens of thousands of dollars in free braces. If I sent him a hundred kids, a hundred kids would get free braces from him. Incredibly, Dr. Dan and his beautiful wife, Dr. Emily, encourage their staff to give back in big ways too. Over the years, they have sponsored hundreds of our foster children for Christmas. Sitting across from him at lunch that day several years ago, I knew I was in the presence of someone special. Dr. Dan is the ultimate example of how beautiful the human spirit can be. It is for all of these reasons that Dr. Dan receives our highest honor this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Dr. Dan. Bianca, so my staff's laughing because I'm a bit of a weeper. And <laughs> now I'm crying before I even have to read this, so that's a bit of a problem, so bear with me. Um, so good evening, um, and thank you guys so much for, for this honor. Uh, I'm truly humbled, so when Debbie asked me to do this, I'm kind of like a little blind me. Um, I'm humbled to be in the company of people who inspire me, uh, who've helped shape my thinking, and who've helped me realize the potential of small businesses and individuals. That's what kind of makes this fun. Um, nobody up here tonight is a giant organization, um, but we can actually make a giant impact. Um, I want to sincerely thank Debbie, Mike, Maria, Vanessa, Gabriella, Michael and the rest of the crew of Bianca, sorry there's way too many names. Um, hopefully I didn't leave too many people out. Uh, for all you do for our community, um, but selfishly and on a personal level for all that you've, you've done for me um, and to uh, enrich my life. There's no greater honor than service, and I truly believe that. Uh, there's no greater reward in life than service, and in today's crazy world, quite frankly, there's no greater need um, than service. It's a privilege, and I mean, to hear the stories that Debbie's talking about, and I have to spend some time after this to actually meet the other recipients, because I'm, I'm honored to even to, you know, be up here. Um, your service to the community and to Bianca is truly really remarkable, um, and your recognition is incredibly well-deserved. Uh, I want to salute my team. There, there was the joke that you ladies made that is probably more true than I want to admit that, you know, obviously I own the business, but it's my team that, that's out there finding organizations that we want to partner with and really helping to grant these wishes. So my team at Innovative Organizers and, and uh, the Center for Pediatric Dental Health, um, I obviously share this with you guys. Okay. Um, of course, with my beautiful wife, should be up here too, but she probably would divorce me if I made her. <laughs> um, our practices do all of this stuff together, so I thank you so much. Um, 
And I want to end with the question that's been rattling around in my brain since Debbie, you know, invited me to, to do this, and it really is. And I think I said, to her, "Yes, like why me?" And, and it's, you know, it's uh, like every other speaker has said. It's one of those things. I don't think any of us give back because we want to be recognized in any way, shape, or form. Um, I don't think any of us want this. You know, I think we um, are just happy to help Debbie and her and her crew in any way that we can. And, and in all honesty, I'm just grateful and thankful that four, five years ago on that, that crazy um, lunch date, sorry Mike, it was totally blue time. Um, you know, it changed, changed my life forever and I look forward to the journey that we're gonna be on for years to come together. So thank you guys.